Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Matthew Bennett, and I'm a freshman at Matimita High School. So that lovely song that I just played for you all, it's called Liebestrom, and it's written by Franz Liszt. And oddly enough, Liebestrom actually translates to a love dream, which happens to go quite well with my quick talk today on music and your brain, more specifically how music stimulates it, or you could say why it's the ultimate brain food. So, most activities stimulate one side of your brain, the left or the right, or at least one side more than the other. The left side of your brain handles more logical subjects and controls the right side of your body, while the right side of your brain handles more imaginative subjects and controls the left side of your body. The great thing about music, however, is that it doesn't stimulate just one side of your brain. It stimulates both of them simultaneously. And as you can see here, it makes it kind of look like a light show when you're playing music. So there's a lot going on here, but some of the parts of your brain that are being stimulated are the visual, auditory, motor, and prefrontal cortexes, the hippocampus, the amygdala, and the cerebellum. Now, since all these different parts of your brain are being stimulated, you're getting both a stronger imagination and a stronger understanding of more logical subjects. In fact, students who play music have been proven to score higher in almost every single subject than students who don't. And music has also been shown to help with Alzheimer's and dementia patients, ranging from improved verbal memory to recognizing emotions through music, even when they may not be able to do so anymore through voices and expression. Music may also help patients form words and senses better and also recall past memories. So after hearing all this, I bet all you guys are wondering, well, where can I get some of this brain food? <laughs> well, a great source of musical brain food is playing any instrument, like the piano. And the great thing about playing an instrument is, let's say you're playing the piano, for example. You'll be using both sides of your body, both hands, which is already stimulating a lot of different things up here. And on top of that, you're getting all these crazy mental benefits of playing the music. And it's just improving your understanding of logical and imaginative subjects just like crazy. And another great source of musical brain food is coming up with a quick little tune. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, just something in your head. Because first, you have to imagine what you're going to do. And that already takes a lot of brain power. Then after that, you have to write it down if you want to keep it. And then you have to play it. So, in short, if you're looking for a great source of brain food, no, the ultimate source of brain food, try music. You can just listen to it, you can play it, or you can even write it if you want. But everybody has access to music, the ultimate brain food. Before I go, however, I'm going to be playing a quick arrangement of a song I wrote called Two Xanarkand for you all. I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> 